All right, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Today, I'm doing something that I really wanted to do for a while. It's going to Terrytown. So, just gotta make my way down this path, check out my handiwork on Addison's signs. Hopefully the weather clears up a bit. Looks like there might be some lightning in the forecast at that 3.20 a.m. <sighs> Maybe 3.30 a.m. mark. But for now, I see a Colton up there. But I got a whole path to follow until I get to... Until I get all the way to proper Terrytown. I'm gonna skip over this construction area for now. Make my way to the left, to the east and get up to the the main part of Terrydale, which is up on the up on that like peninsula island thing above Lake Akala. And we're going to take our horse named Akala all the way there. I'm very interested to see what Bolson construction what Hudson has done also. What what's going on here? Cuz this town is expanding very quickly. And I'm sure I'll check out the construction site that I found last time. But, it'll be an interesting time. There's a lot to check out, I'm sure. It's a whole city, so... Oh, is that a shooting star? Do I have any shrines near there? Let me let me mark this real quick. <laughs> I might be coming back for my horse. Ah, uh, shoot. It's worth checking out, right? Where is this shrine? Let's check it out. <laughs> Leaving my horse. Distractions, distractions, distractions. What a game. I may be able to just fly over to Terrytown from here. I don't even know if I need my horse. I could get my horse at any time. I, I'll probably just ditch it. <laughs> Not a big deal. Where did I put that? There it is. Oh, but this is towards that Gleok. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's fly over the Gleok. Let's see how that goes. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. No, thank you. Oh, we got bad weather. Bad weather, bad weather. Wait, what is shocking me? Okay. Is that it? And it's okay. Cool. Ooh, that almost hit me real quick. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is too intimidating for me right now. Not really willing to go fight that. It hit 5 a.m. Did you see that? It hit 5 a.m. and this went away. Oh my gosh, what a waste of time. I love this game. <laughs> I was like, so close to it. Gosh dang it. I tried to get there as fast as I could, too. Wow, okay. Well... Here I am, just wasting all the time in the world. Now I gotta get back to my horse. Ah. Tears of the kingdom. Making me cry right now. Okay, so don't mind this waste of two minutes. Let's just go grab our horse again and actually make some progress. I don't even remember that shooting star falling. I don't think I ever saw it fall. Just kind of did. Alright, let's do this. Let's save some time by skipping. <laughs> and then I will grab my horse. Right. Where is my horse? Ooh, what is that? Sparkly water? Oh, nothing. Nothing big. <laughs> My gosh. Alright, back to the horse. And look at that, the weather is cleared up. <laughs> what a good time. Cool. Let's get up there. I'm... I'm almost frustrated right now. Hey, hey now. We're gonna be friends. Oh, I will take that. I said I will. No! <laughs> that did not help. There we go. 
Get out of here. Okay. Making progress for real now. <laughs> Cut up this hill a little bit. No need to take the path if I can cut a corner here and there. Alright. Here we go. Gotta take your meat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill it. Yeah. Fairy Town is here! Look at this. Okay. Awesome. I don't think I read this sign last time. This way to Terrytown, ask Hudson Construction about your dream home. I might do that. Okay, grand entrance. Oh, the weather went to garbage again. Can I get up there? <laughs> I guess I could just climb. Not that big of a deal. Anything cool here? Oh, the weather is okay again. The weather is just going all over the place. Alright. Be on our way. Fairy Town, here we come. Is this the marriage capital of Hyrule? The wedding capital? Wedding destination? Can't wait to see the site. Who are you? Bissy? Uh, hello again. Thanks for helping out with those underdressed scientists. Oh, I met you at that one stable. Okay. Can't believe they missed her to explore all other paths as explored underpants. <laughs> I know that's not funny, but it's really funny. Anyway, I'm just glad I don't have to work in my underpants. It's because you open everyone's eyes to the naked truth. <laughs> wow. That's that's what I'm here to talk to you about? Thanks. Good talk. Alright. What is happening here? Terrytown! I haven't been to a new town in a while. This is actually very exciting. It's almost smaller than it. There were buildings over here. What happened? What in the world? There's a lot of people here, though. Alright, the Unity Bell. I need to take a photo of this for... Okay, I need these kids out of the way. Oh my gosh, are those Bolsons and that one's kids' kids? No way. Interesting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And those old people. That's a pretty quaint photo right there. Cool. I'm satisfied with that. Oh gosh, who do I talk to first? Usually there's like a greeter to a town. No greeter here. Maybe I'll go to the shop. Palm flowers. Dazzle fruits. Sorry, just here to take photos. Arrows. Cool, cool. What is the shop? Do you have a name? Do you have a sign? No sign? Shop from the best. What do you have? Uh, Fison! I remember you, Fison. You were gonna make your own store, and you did. Whatever you need. Welcome to the general store operated by Hudson Construction. You'll know us by our motto, Sun and Done. Am I right that this is your first time in our shop? Uh, um, I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe in this game. Did you come by, come because you heard we started carrying monster extract? That's right, I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be useful things you can attach to arrows for a little extra oomph. But a contact of mine helped me source monster extract, and now I have a sideline in that too. If you're interested, I can hook you up, son and done. Uh, maybe. I'm here to sell though. No, I'm not. I am interested in the price of things. Um, everything's not worth too much. How much is one of those light, light bulb things? <laughs> Ooh, diamonds. I need to keep those, though. I have a couple quests open right now that are going to require me to use those. Ooh, that's only 30? Wow. Wait, where? Oh, there they are. Oh, they're only worth two. So I could really only get 2,000 out of those. So not even worth selling. <laughs> My gosh. Huh, maybe, though. You stick things together that you didn't mean to try. Try talking to Pellison over there. They'll have them separated in a jiffy and return them to you. No sweat. Sun and done. That's cool. I do like that. Do I have any monster extract? I might take one of these just in case I need it for something and I don't want to come back here. But monster extract, a result of Kilton's research into monsters, the suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking, apparently can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. 
Huh? Oh. I'll buy it. Uh, that's what you're in the market for, huh? Uh, I will take two. I'm actually gonna take two. Yeah, I'll buy. Be careful not to leave any merchandise behind. Alright, I'm gonna take two in case I mess it up or something later. But what I'm gonna do uh, is sell some of these, uh, some of these. I'm gonna sell, like, I'm gonna get that 100 back. I'm gonna get 50. Sell 50, get that 100 back. It's like I didn't even do anything. And then I can actually, like, collect them in the in the caves that I go to and not be missing out on money. I guess I could just sell you more. Let me sell you another 50. I'll take another 200. Or I'll sell 45. So I have nine, 900. Nope, I want the 100. <laughs> All right, cool. That seems satisfactory for now. 2,000 rupees. Yep. I will go talk to Pellison. Who are you, though? What's up, kid? Oh, Pellison, break it down. Son of done. You're Pellison. Sir, have you ever regretted attaching attaching something to your weapon or shield? That's the time to tap me, Pellison, here at the Break Apart Shop. Faster than you can blink, zip -za, it'll be back to how it was before. Cost just 20 rup rupees. You want to break something? Uh, break what now? <laughs> Are you curious how I do it? I figured out how to break things apart by disassembling stuff I didn't need anymore here in my workshop. Wow. Only I, the great Pelican, am capable of this craft. If you got something attached to something else, I can break them apart and return them to their original state. Ooh. Just cost 20 rupees. Nah, I'm good. Wow. Leave the disassembling to the mighty Pelican and come back anytime. I don't think I have anything. I think I'm okay with all the things that I have attached to my weapons right now. And even that garbage is fine, like whatever. I don't care that much about the attached shields. And bows are- yeah, that's cool. I do like that that's a thing. Like, that's pretty cool. That you can at least do something about it. But I'd rather just steal all the stuff back here. Why not, you know? <laughs> I'm like, taking all of your stuff. Sorry about your stock back here. Link's a thief. I did just see a Korok seed, I think, so I'm gonna get that real quick. There we go. <laughs> Had to be. Boom. Launch it. Okay. What else is good around here? Yeah, there used to be buildings over here, and now it's just like a little... Is that a cave? How did that happen? How did that possibly happen? There we go. That's all I was looking for. That worked. Uh, what is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to learn something about this. Oh my gosh, Kilton, what are you doing here? Hey, buddy. Hey, hello there, you. It's an honor to see your face with my eyeballs once again, and on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. You met again with my younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. He is a bit eccentric, I know, I know, but I hope you'll find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, uh, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Hilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods for monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them for my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelet, uh, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at last make real a dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Hilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. Ugh, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What is your dream? Truth is, and this is just between you and me, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monster? It's disgusting. <laughs> but here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. <laughs> I know, I know. Monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. 
And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in the land. Hudson. <laughs> as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle like the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Alright, Kilton. I trust you, buddy. You are so funny. <laughs> You're one of the funniest dudes in this game. Okay. So, lots to see, lots to talk about. Uh, these people. I remember meeting them before. Minari. Oh my, it's a traveler, darling. Terrytown has grown quite popular, after all. It's all thanks to President Mudson. Hudson, darling, not Mudson. <laughs> Shouldn't forget a founder of Terrytown, Hudson. He's the president of Hudson Construction who built this town. Uh, didn't they open an office around here? Oh my gosh, Link helped build this entire town. Like he supplied all so many, so many pieces of wood. Over there, darling. Oh my gosh, there they are. The place with the sign you always mistake for Hudson and say hello to. <laughs> Sorry about that. My husband has been getting more forgetful lately. Never mind us. Please enjoy your visit. Alright. Well, what's up, kid? Honey? Uh, come on. Can't you say I'm playing a game with Madison? She says it's special training for dealing with something called a Vo. I think these Vo things are some kind of monster or something. I guess I better watch out for them, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> enjoy your time. Uh, yeah, you. Okay. Do I have enough to pray? Do I have four? Can't even remember now. Okay, I do. Perfect. Uh, let's let's get one heart. Yes, please. Thank you. Why is it so dark now? Looking. Is that just what happens? When does that second row begin? <laughs> now that I'm in town, also, um, I don't want to be wearing all this stuff. Let's put on some cool stuff. Oh my gosh, that is scary. There. <laughs> Let's put on some traveler stuff. Go headless. Headless, but you know. Let's just we're in town, we're safe, we don't need armor. Carrying around like the goofiest looking weapon too. If I'm gonna talk to anybody cool. I wanna be carrying cool stuff. There we go. Oh, you're a different kid. You gotta be Hudson's kid. Madison, yeah, and your name's Madison. Uh, you're Hudson's kid, guaranteed, right? Savak. Hey, mister, are you a friend of Papa's? Yeah, <laughs> there we go. He was gone for a long time, and now he's back home. I'm gonna be moving soon, so I gotta make sure I play with Papa and every son else, well, a whole bunch while I still can. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what that means, but interesting. Should I talk to... Let's just go talk to Hudson. Maybe let's talk to this lady, too. I'm pretty sure I helped you feed your kid who wanted a monster cake. Is that true? <laughs> really? Uh, quick and quality. Blink and we're done. Dream homes. The envy of every son. Oh. oh, excuse me. Do you have business with Hudson Construction? You need to speak with the president. He and his wife are a little busy right now. Why are they busy? They're just standing right there. Just between you and me, it sounds like there's a bit of a conflict in the family. You see, Hudson and his daughter, they, uh... Oh, her name is Madison. Lovely girl. Anyway... Wait, let me start over. Because of his wife's village's customs, oh, she's Garuda, by the way. Her name is Ronson. Uh, Hudson recruited her when he built this village, so... Oh no, look at me talking about things that are none of my business, and to a complete stranger. Please forget everything I just said. Oh, okay. Uh, Hudson? Talk to your... Talk to your old pal, Link. It's time. You remember me, right? Oh, what is this sign? Interested in making your dream home come true? Hudson Construction is there for you. With our unique room-by-room -room building style, you take the rooms we make and then create the perfect layout for yourself. Please talk to Ronson at 
reception to turn your ideal home into a reality. Hudson Construction. All right. Oh my gosh. There's a... <laughs> There's a whole crystal right there. All right. You're overthinking. I'm so worried. Oh gosh. You too. Look at you two. You remember me? My name's Link. <laughs> Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Uh, Monari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. Mm. You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Ah, huh? oh, a customer! Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry. We're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Ooh. Look who it is. It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over the to come live in, a in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Mm. Little Madison. Hudson, you've got to get it together. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. She's got to go on her uh, bow training experience, I think. Uh, Hudson and Ronson of Hudson Construction were discussing the pending departure of someone named Madison, their daughter, of course. Ronson seemed upbeat about it, but Hudson looked sad. He appears to be worried about something. Ronson, what is... Oh, Hudson and Ronson character profiles added. Let's take a look right before we talk to Ronson. Uh, this uh, Ronson and Hudson, the owners of Hudson Construction. This married couple runs the company that has been key to projects during the long reconstruction of Hyrule, including the creation of Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. Hudson has unparalleled skill as a builder, and together with the Gerudo Taylor Ronson, they helped found Terrydown. They also have a daughter named Madison. They are a Gerudo and a Hylian. Very cool. Okay. Uh, Adventure Log, yeah. Let's keep that one active. Ronson, what is going on here? Uh, sorry, we aren't ready for open. We aren't ready to open for business yet. It's a shame we're so busy too. After all, we haven't seen you for such a long time. But right now, my husband and I must prepare to send our daughter off. Okay. All good. All good. I'll let you do your family biz. Let me just raid your house real quick. I'm, I'm in... Oh. <laughs> That's the company's storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking inside. Uh, maybe. Just break through this window. Or, more likely, I'm gonna have to come at it from the bottom and do some, uh, ascend. What are you doing, sleeping? Sleeping on the job, guy? Uh, Truxen. <laughs> uh, so you got a chance to talk with President Hudson, huh? I was just out here waiting my turn to go chat with him, but I, uh, but I uh, ended up falling asleep. No. Came to help clear out the Zonai devices and ruins that fell all over the workshop. Heard they could use a hand. I'm still pretty tired. Think I'll take another little nap before I introduce myself. <laughs> okay. Good work. I'm gonna go talk to Hudson soon after I check out the rest of this house. Or this store. Storeroom. Oh, this is totally Ronson's there. Look at this little painting. That is, uh... I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, Karakara Bazaar in the Gerudo Desert. <laughs> or, or it might just be the, uh, Gerudo place. Can't remember the name. Uh, Madison... Oh, I'm in Madison's room. I'm, like, raiding a kid's room. Link, Link has no sense of privacy. Madison's notebook. This looks like some notes from Mad uh, Madison wrote for her move. Uh, note number one. Say the Gerudo greetings clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning is Savota, not Sabota. Boys are vo, not b, not b, not no b. <laughs> Grandma is baba. V and B, so mean. And thank you, it is Sarkso. Note number two, the chief's pet is special. 
Chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia the Sand Seal. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can read people's fortunes. <laughs> wow. Eh, Patricia always has some type of pun. That is a special pun because it mixes Patricia always using like seal puns and then they say sons because the Bolson and Madison apparently love saying the word son and everybody who lives here has to be named son. Maybe not who lives here, but who works for Bolson Construction. Uh, note number three, no talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mama says it's a Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Vo before I get there. No number four, must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crying. Alright. Cool, cool. That's a cool window. This is a pretty cool place to live. Very out here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go underneath to get into that storeroom. Uh, Bolson, what is going on? Hudson, what is going on? And also, where is Bolson? Alright, Hudson. Uh, we were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, it's son and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. I mentioned her earlier, we have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful, all the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I, I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Oh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too, what with preparing Madison for the move. She's so busy she can't even take work requests. Mostly I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Dude, that's gotta be you. <laughs> Gotta be you. <laughs> Link is not gonna be your replacement dad here. Uh, Madison's independence. Uh, it seems Hudson's only daughter Madison is moving to Gerudo Town on her own in accordance with Gerudo law. Both Hudson and Ronson regret that they are too busy to play with Madison, especially since it won't be long before she leaves. This is not a... I don't like this storyline. <laughs> uh... Where, where did Madison go? It's only 2.30. Shouldn't be asleep or anything. Alright, let's go raid some other houses. Wait, you're here. Where's Madison? Hey, where's Madison? What do you want? I'm supposed to play with Madison, so don't bother me, okay? But she hasn't come down from her room on the second floor. Maybe she's busy studying Gerudo. Maybe. So confusing how many Vo and Va sounds there are in all those Gerudo words. Okay. So. Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to. I was thinking of doing like a. a zoom up, but this is. I don't know. I don't like it. It's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna give Link at least a chance to knock on the door. Hi. Hi. Knock, knock. Alright, that's me knocking. Hi. <laughs> uh, what's going on, Madison? No, I'm not gonna read your notebook in front of you, oh my gosh. Uh, good morning is Savota, good day is Sivak. And goodbye is... what is goodbye? Oh, I, sorry, I tried knocking, I really did. <laughs> Don't frighten me like that. For a second I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all the studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my Miss Son to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to give a less son to Granny Minari. She sh you should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> I love her, like, son. What, what would you call it? A dialect? 
<laughs> for this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Oh my gosh, I need, I need to, I need to brush up on this. <laughs> um, Hudson and Ronson's daughter Madison is studying the Gerudo language in pre preparation for her move. She's going to find Granny Minari and said something about giving her a quiz. All right, let's do this real quick. Uh, first page. Uh, Gerudo greetings. Uh, Savota, Vo, Vaba, Sarkso. I think I'm good. Let's do this. Can I go out this window? <laughs> Guess I can't. All right. Let's go talk to Granny. Who's over here? Is the kid here? Where's the kid? What? Wait, are you running over here right now? Quiz your Granny? Uh, follow me. It's this direct sound. <laughs> I'm glad I caught her on the on the way here so I could get that little piece of extra sun. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's do this. Uh, Granny Minari, Savak. Uh, oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Oh, good good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? <laughs> of course, and it's a special little case son too, because a new student is joining the class. Okay, now pay attention, Granny Minari, it's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Granny in Gerudo is, uh, hmm, what was it? Ba ba. <laughs> ding ding ding, that's right. You're doing really good, maybe you've done this before? Ah, huh, yes, Baba, it was on the tip of my tongue. Oh, <laughs> why does Link just butt in here? Wasn't talking to you, Link. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Oh, that's nice of you, Madison. I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. I've got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my miss son to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride with the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Oh. Okay, oh Madison, she's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up at sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since uh, Hagi, Hagi was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Oh, this is a long quest. <laughs> Madison has been teaching the Gerudo language to the people of Terrytown so that her mother Ronson won't feel so lonely. Now she's headed down toward the rail car. She wants to help her father Hudson, who has been very busy with work. Madison is being very nice to her parents. She's making the best out of this situation. Okay, never mind. She is she's sad now. What's going on, kid? Uh, I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. Yeah, I got money. Let's let's go do this. <laughs> I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm gonna have to hop on board rail car without him noticing. <laughs> but how am I gonna do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. <laughs> okay, Link. I like how Link is like all on board with this. He's like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that guy sounds like a jerk. Let's, let's not even pay him. Um, Madison wants to go to the job site to help Hudson with his work, but Haggy, it, he must be Haggy, uh, who's in charge of the rail car that extends to the site, is charging a toll. Madison doesn't have any money and is instead trying to figure out a way to obscure Haggy's line of sight. Alright, gotta rid the rail car if I'm gonna get to pop the job site and help him out. But I forgot that guy won't let me ride unless I bam. Alright, we're gonna sneak on without him noticing. Yep. Um, let's get you there. What's... What is this? This is interesting. For rail car repairs and reconfigurations, please see Caretaker Haggy. Whoa there, wanna use a rail car? Maybe. I'm gonna distract you. There's a fee for that. You're free to use it once you pay up. Oh, I gotta pay. I don't really want to, my dude. Wanna fight? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I've gotta hurry and find some sucker to- hmm. 
Heading to the construction site, huh? There's a small fee to use a rail car. I'll collect that for you. Oh my gosh, it's 20 rupees, no exceptions. But you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides. That's a bargain. How about that? Uh, the rail car. President Hudson's pride and joy, an amazing contraption connecting Terrytown and the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately. Things falling down from the sky right onto the construction site. Hudson has turned it into quite the has turned into quite the inventor. Best I can tell, he takes what falls out of the sky and experiments until he makes something new. The rail car is a perfect example. It's so simple to control that anyone can do. Just give it a whack. Uh, what's the rock? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I still- I mean, I took it as a memento. Oh, this guy definitely deserved not to get paid by that girl. That's fair. Uh, but if you're interested, I would consider selling it. For you, a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Uh, no, not for that price. No way. In that case, how about 80? That's a one-time only deal just for you. Mmm, can you go lower? Rock for sale. <laughs> Shrine quest. Hey, what are you doing? Ruli? Wait, who's Ruli? Ruli, that- oh, that girl, yeah. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing, it's basically a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no, 50 rupees more than a fair price. Oh, I already set an absolutely fair price. And he might have- <laughs> okay, no need for the stern wife look. You trying to cheat me out, dude? Well, what do you say, it's a real deal for- uh, I'll pass for now. Ugh. Of course he isn't going to buy after you insult him with such a high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live here in peace. If you do anything to harm that beautiful vision, you won't get away with it. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. So what am I supposed to do about that? Aggie was scheming to sell off a strange rock for 100 rupees, but his wife really chided him and he lowered it to 50 rupees instead. <laughs> Can I just steal it? <laughs> uh, charge a few to use a rail car, but you only need to pay it once. It's 20 rupees, what do you say? Maybe he'll buy this weird rock while he's at it. Uh, okay, see ya. Now that Hudson's back on the side, there's no one to stop me from collecting that fee. You're kind of a jerk, dude. You literally live with like all these people. Why are you trying to cheat them out of money? Alright, uh, Madison, this guy definitely needs conned, so... Let's, let's get him. Ah, stop that. <laughs> this rock belongs to me, I'm not going to give it away for free. Dude, you got anger problems. <laughs> but if you really want it, I could consider telling it. Yeah, okay. Let me just buy it from you, you're annoying me. I'll buy the rock. Thank you, okay, 50 rupees then, and it's all yours. Yeah, I'll take it. What? He's actually gonna buy this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. That's great, you have a good eye, sir. It's definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wide, wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you, no refunds. Cool. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. In the back of what? Why can't I just have it? Oh, right there. Gotcha. Okay, rock for sale complete. I guess that's a shrine quest. You bought the weird rock from Haggy for 50 rupees. If his wife really hadn't intervened, you might have had to pay 100 rupees. Hey, I wonder if that says something different if you just buy the 100 rupees. Or maybe she just comes and intervenes if you agree to pay 100. Not sure. So now I can use that to cover your eyes, right? <laughs> so 50 rupees for a weird rock I picked up, huh? Well, that's not so bad. Ah, hmm. oh, you again. Uh, no. Alright, Madison, let's do this. Uh, sorry, but the construction company is still using that cutout. There's a few others I was going to throw out, though. They're in the company storehouse, and you could take them. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside. Oh, okay. So I, I can take these cutouts? Wait, so that's... Is that what I used to block this dude? Oh. Oh. Oh, dude. Hey, where are you taking that? <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, steal everything. Yeah, people making off the rail car. Bring that back where it belongs if you don't mind. I'm just messing with people now. Hmm, Hudson built this rail car himself, you know. The whole system would fall apart without it, so leave it be. Okay. Um, Madison, I'm having a little bit of difficulty trying to figure out what to do. Maybe I take that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. We got this. We got this. Can't see anything. 
What am I attaching this to? Oh, to that? Madison, go. <laughs> he can't see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Cover his eyes. Wait, wait, wait. What was the option there? Uh, you can go now. Yeah, go. Oh, mister, did you do that? I was not reading, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. Do it. Okay, the guy deserves it. Do it. I did it! My mission was a success! Yeah, I can finally go get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Oh. Thanks for helping me with my missile. Yeah, just go for it. <laughs> oh, she's just gone. Alright, Madison, good work. Yeah, I don't know what happened, dude. Where'd it go? <laughs> uh, Madison managed to evade Haggy and ride the rail car. Was she able to meet up with Hudson at the work site? Sure hope so. I'll fly down there soon. I wanna chastise this guy though. Uh tell me. I, I forgot. I only have to pay you once. I don't even wanna pay you, dude. You're such a jerk. Where is this supposed to go? I don't know where that's supposed to go. That's the interesting part for me. I think I'm gonna head down. Let's head down. This is a big old construction site. Hudson Construction. What's going on here? Oh. You know, maybe we uh, finish this whole quest with Madison first. There's a lot going on here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is cool. I'm glad that uh, Terrytown is much more alive in this game. Madison, you did it. You're here. Oh. Hey, you didn't mention you were coming here too, mister. It's strange. Pop keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, it's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. <laughs> She's right there. Oh. And, well, what I came up with is this. Gerudo Town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. But I want to make it really special, something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun? That's it, let's color yellow like the sun. I've seen sun lines around here. I could use them to make a dye, but I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. Bet I'd get a use beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me to dye something this size, I'd need ten of them. You need sundelines, Papa. Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll, I'll make finding them my new mission. I appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. Sundelines are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you'd find them. Don't worry, I've seen a sundeline before. It was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Alright. Hudson is trying to make a balloon for Madison to help his daughter's departure feel like a grand celebration. He needs 10 sundelines so he can dye it yellow, Madison's favorite color. Madison, where were you talking? I mean, bright yellow sundelines. You know if it was attached to those ruins that fell from the sky above, then maybe there's a flower field in the sky. Oh. Uh, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I wonder if any of them are growing somewhere. You tell me there's something right above us. Oh, I guess I have been here. Maybe I just go straight up. What's up, Hudson? Only had 10 sunlines that I'd be able to dye the balloon a bright yellow. But I don't know where I'm going to get them. I'll leave you to it. Like Madison said, the sunlines you saw was attached to fallen ruins. So it could be they don't grow down here on the ground. Alright. I'm gonna go grab a few from up here, hopefully. I think I have more, way more than 10. But, um, I just kind of want to collect a few more, maybe. So I don't have to burn through all these, because I think that I should be making sundelion. Uh, meals, especially for the depths, or honestly, like only for the depths, and that might be a good thing to get into doing. 
Alright, so far there are zero. That one? No. Um Sunderline me, please. I don't necessarily need these, but I'll take them. Where are the Sunderlines? lines? Are they telling me I took them all already? Thought I'm getting out of this? I thought I'd at least get one. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay, there's one. How many do I have? 94, okay, never mind. I am absolutely hoarding these things. Wow. Sweet, yeah, I'll just, I'll take as many as I can get, I guess. Might as well. Oh yeah, this is perfect. It was worth coming up just to have a few extra. I want to do actually is head down to Terrytown again. I love that you can go to the sky. And I do want to go to Terrytown because I, I want to talk to like the rest of the people and just make sure that there's nothing else missing. Mm, nice, made it. Uh, let me let me check this. Check this out. Check out if anybody lives here. What's going on here? Absolutely nothing. Nice fireplace, though. It's a pretty empty house. These are very modular. They did not lie about that. Is that the whole house? Okay. Alright, well, to the next one. <laughs> they have a dog. There's a dog that lives here. Oh, I remember this house, I think. I don't know. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah. You're just... You're sleeping after a long day of playing. Do your parents live here? Oh my gosh, where are your parents? <laughs> this is an inn that I left my horse at. I really... Uh, even at night, it's sun and done. Good evening, every sun. Uh, oh my, excuse me, do you have any business with Hudson Construction? Uh, I heard that you brought that strange rock. I heard that you bought that strange rock for my husband. Wasn't doing anything except taking up space around here, so I'm glad you took it off our hands. Uh, oh my, sorry for blathering on about personal matters. Do you have business with Hudson Construction? Uh, Ronson works at the front desk, but I think she's busy. How is she busy? Oh, just between me and I heard that someone's coming from Gerudo Town to pick up Madison. I know you've already told me this. Are you familiar with the Gerudo region? To the southwest, it's where Ronson is from, you know? And Ronson, well, she was acting like she was fine yesterday, but I think she's been distracted lately. Oh no, this is none of my business. Please forget I, everything I just said. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check out this inn. Oh my gosh, I forgot about you. You're the uh, guy who was marrying people. Captain, yeah, a customer. Wow, how interesting that you should arrive at this particular time. Seek me out at such an hour, if I may dare to assume, you must be a Hylian of the diurnal variety yes this is a village where many different folks gather i offer pleasant sleep to all regardless of their rank or where they come from by the mercy of the goddess helia oh humble servant oh humble servant led here by destiny are you in need of a place of respite this guy speaks old timey <laughs> tell me about the waterbed uh, it is a special bed that ensures you the best sleep possible by maintaining your posture according to your anatomy Compared to a regular bed, it offers your mind and body an awakening that is very vital indeed. I don't know what that does for you. Uh, by the mercy of the goddess Hylia, I hope you have a most pleasant journey. Thanks. I'm gonna check out this place though. Cool. Fairly pleasant. It's actually a pretty cool picnic area. Okay, so I guess that's kind of everything up here and everybody to talk to so I will go back down to the construction site I, I really would like to finish this uh, Madison quest no I don't want to ride the rail car I really don't 
Dude, I'm I'm running around the rail car. Don't don't be so hasty. I can't just jump off. Sorry, but you can't take the rail car until you pay the fee. If you want to use it? Talk to me first. I don't want to use it. I want to jump off. <laughs> I would rather jump off this cliff than talk to you again. That do you not understand that? <laughs> All right, good. Let's hand off some sundelines. They can paint it up. I like how there's new music here too. Kinda nice. Alright. Um I'm going to give you the sundelines to give it to your dad. Oh, and bright yellow sundelines. Uh yep. Here's ten. Huh? That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected ten of them. What's this? You found them all for us? Looks like I'll have no problem dying the balloon in the color of the sun. I wasn't any help at all. I failed my missing. That's not true, Madison. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know, why don't you help me with that? I will, I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Perf. <laughs> Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construct Sun. Oh, that's kind of cool. At last, it's done, and morning is already here. <laughs> I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a little long, a bit longer. Oh. Hudson. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Oh. Let's all go together then in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? Sure thing. Oh wow, I feel like I've turned into a bird. Oh Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Hey everyone, take a look at that. That is a Beautiful sunrise. The sun is waking up. Oh. Blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Poppy, your present made me very happy. Mm. Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back any. Sorry, n never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. Oh. <laughs> Minari, you can trust me. I'll t take care of your Papa and Mama. Don't worry, you can go. You'll become a wonderful Vi, and come back with lots of stories to tell. Can't wait to hear about your adventures. Uh, I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, Everson. I mean, Sarkso. I'm going to become a great Vi like Mama, and I'll meet a wonderful Vo like Papa. Hi. Some work, Everson! Ronson, did, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm? Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. Mm. Okay, okay, I am ready. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunderlands were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. 
Oh, sweet. And this is from me. Oh my gosh, you guys are very nice. I was just helping your kid. You've already helped me so much, but if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Alright, I guess it slipped my mind. Now I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? <laughs> Madison's independence is complete. From Terrytown in the Akala Highlands. Uh, that was... That was a very involved side... I guess it was a side adventure, that makes sense. It was much more than a side quest. Uh, Madison's independence, along with Ronson, Hudson, and the people of Terrytown, you saw Madison off on her journey to Gerudo Town. If you go to Gerudo Town, perhaps you can see Madison again. Uh, yeah, that is gonna be cool. That'll be fun to, uh, visit Gerudo Town and say hi to Madison and <laughs> ho hopefully reveal that I am Link dressed as a woman, I assume. Oh, good morning. Thanks to Hudson, Terrytown has grown rather famous. Are you here to see Terrytown's Unity Bell? You know, there's a goddess statue in the area as well. Hudson even had his wedding at the bell. <laughs> Why am I asking about Hudson? I'm talking about the president of Hudson Construction. He helped build this town. <laughs> I know this. See that cutout? That's Hudson. Not the real Hudson, of course. But my husband can't always tell, and sometimes he'll greet the sign like it's the man, man himself. I hope when Madison grows up, she'll want to have her wedding here, just like her parents. Yeah. Alright, what's, what's going on, Moggs? Now, what did I have for dinner again, or perhaps I haven't had dinner yet? Oh, well, well, it's been a while. My memory isn't what it used to be, but of course I remember you. Yes, we met just over there, or uh, maybe it was over there. Well, that's nothing for you to worry about. It certainly doesn't worry me. It may be late, but I'm wide awake. I decided to take a little stroll until it's time to meet my wife. Now then, where did we decide to meet? That's important. Right over here, dude. Come on. These people were already old in Breath of the Wild, and now they're just older. And that is Terrytown. Actually, like, progressing the story of Breath of the Wild. Very cool. Um, I've enjoyed my time here. I may have to go down to that construction site, but uh, this was cool. I have wasn't expecting it to be so story. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Honey, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, you, you've acquired your friend's language. That's That's cool. That means good morning in Gerudo. Madison taught me. Sounds neat, huh? You know Madison, she's going to be my friend for always. But she had to move to this place called Gerudo Town to the southwest because of something called a tradition. I heard it's really far away and really hot, but also really cold. So I'm gonna eat a bunch and exercise a lot and get even healthier. That way I can go play it. Go and play with her sometime. <laughs> nice. Cool. You do that, kid. Um, for now, I think I'm gonna call that a wrap for Gerudo Town. And then I will head down to the construction site soon. Hey, Moggs, you found We were talking about Hudson and Ronson had their wedding ceremony here. I do hope we're around to see Madison's wedding ceremony. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Don't, don't talk like that. Why wouldn't we be? You're still a young woman, dear. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, they have little people to front us. That's nice. <laughs> okay, um, before there's any more heartfelt stuff in this game, let's uh, keep moving on. Oh my gosh, I just looked at my friend jobs. Hopefully that'll work out fine in the end, but we'll call it here. So, yes, thank you for watching, and we'll continue on the construction site next time. See you then.